Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this set of modern macrame wall hangings on this metal hoop. So these are your supplies that you're going to need. I'm using 3mm 100% Concord. This is the color Mustard and this is the color Snow White. They're both available in my shop. You guys can choose whatever colors you want. And the measuring tape is optional, but I'm going to be using that to show you guys the exact measurements. And I'm using a sharp pair of scissors. You can find these also on my website at homemademacrame.com. And these hoops you can find at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or any craft store. So I'm measuring the string right now for the long part on the big circle hoop. And I'm measuring the string 30 inches long, but please keep in mind that is folded in half. Each piece of string you use is going to be folded in half because you're going to be using a lark's head knot for the ring. You're going to be pulling it over the top like that and then pulling it through. So please keep in mind that each piece of string is going to be 60 inches long, so folded in half, it's 30 inches. This is how you're gonna attach them to the circular hoop. You just pull it over the top like this, and then pull the two middle strings through. Make sure that the two bottom pieces match up before you pull it tight. And there's your Lark's head knot. I just attached 30 pieces of cord to this circle ring using the Lark's head knot. Remember, each piece of cord is measured 60 inches long, so folded in half is 30 inches. I'm going to start tying the knots now. I'm going to be using one knot, which is the clove hitch knot. I'm going to grab this very right string. You can start on the left side too if it's more comfortable. And I'm going to pull it over. I'm going to be tying every bit of these strings onto this one. So this is how you do this knot. You just fold this over and then pull it through. Keep holding this one tight and then pull that one and then do each string twice. So I'm going to pull over this one again and then just pull it through like that and tighten it. I'm going to do that a few more times for you guys so that you can understand this knot more easily. So now you go to the next string. I did that one twice. Pull that string aside. Go to the next one. Keep holding this one. It's going to stay going in a line like this the whole time and then grab this next string, pull it over pull it through, tighten it, always holding this one really tight, pull it to the end, and then do that one more time. You do it twice with each string. Pull it tight. Now you go on to the next string. Make sure these Lark's head knots up here are pulled tight before you do the knots. So pull it over, pull that through, and then you just pull it tight, always holding this one tight, tighten it, and then do that again. Do it twice with each string. Done with those three, I'm gonna go to the next one now. And then just continue to do that. Always hold this string tight so that you get this perfect straight clove hitch knot line right here. And then continue to do that with all the rest of the cords. So I'm coming up on my last two clove hitch knots. So pull that over, pull it through, tighten it, do that twice. Here's my last string. This goes over, pull through, tighten it. Do that one more time. Over, pull through, and tighten it. So with this string right here, you can just leave it to hang or you can cut it off at the very end and put a dab of super glue right there. So I'm finished with this first row. This is how the back looks. You can hang it both ways if you like that look better or if you like this one better. Now that I'm finished with this bottom part, I'm gonna get my white 
and I'm gonna start measuring cord for the top part right here so that's gonna hang over this part. So you can get creative with this part. You don't have to measure it exact. I'm gonna be measuring it again at 30 inches long, but if you want it to hang shorter or longer into this mustard, it's all up to you. But again, I'm gonna be measuring it 30 inches long. So you're gonna apply these ropes the exact same way, just using the Lark's head knot. Start at the top, make sure the two bottom pieces match up, and then just pull it through. Pull it tight. They're gonna to wanna to be sliding down the sides, but once you're done tying all the knots, you can just move them in the exact place that you want them. So I'm done adding my 20 pieces of cord to the top of the string and I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same knot using this string. You pull it over here and then you start tying those clove hitch knots onto the string. So you grab this first string to the right, pull it over. The second string is going to go over that one and then just pull through right here. Pull it tight and then do that again. Pull over, pull it through tight and you're done with that string and then you keep going to the next string in line. Pull it over, pull it through, hold this one tight always when you're pulling this one tight like that. Do that twice. And go to the next string, pull it over, pull it through, tighten it over, pull it through, tighten it, and then just continue doing that exact same knot to every bit of these strings. So I'm coming up with my last two clove hitch knots right here. The string goes over, this one goes over the top, pull it through, pull it tight, do that again. Here's the last string, goes over, pull it through, Pull that tight and do that again. Pull it over, pull it through, and pull it tight. And again, you can leave this string hanging if you want, or you can cut it off, put a double super glue right there, and that will not come undone. So here's my finished look. There's the back of it. You can hang it on either side, whichever side you like better. And I'm going to show you guys how I put a little loop at the top right here to hang it. So I'm just going to grab a little piece of the white string, a couple inches long, fold it in half, cut it, and then I'm going to untwist this a little bit and divide it like right in half. So I just tied that in a knot, and now I'm going to divide this right in half. So there's 10 on this side, 10 on this side, and I'm going to get this, put it like in half where the knot's on the side. Push it through. You might need your scissors to help you get it pushed through the middle. And then I'm going to grab this front loop, pull it through. Like that. And then you have your little hanger, and then you can cut that off on the back. So now I'm getting started on my second ring. This one's a lot smaller than the first ring. I'm going to measure it for you. It's like exactly eight inches round. I'm gonna put it up with the bigger circle, kind of where I want it to hang, and I'm gonna be doing a wide at the bottom, and then I'm gonna do the mustard at the top. So I just measured my string to be 25 inches long. That's folded in half, so the whole single piece of string will be 50 inches long. So you're always folding it in half, though, because of the lark's head knot, so it's gonna be 25 inches long. So now I'm gonna put my cords onto this ring using the lark's head knot, same as before on the big one. So I just attached 25 pieces of cord, all measured at 50 inches long, folded in half, being 25 inches. And now I'm gonna start grabbing this string, doing the exact same thing, clove hitch knots, with every cord all the way to the end. Pull this cord over these ones, grab the second cord in line, pull it over the top of that one, go underneath here, pull it through, tighten it, always hold this cord tight as you're pulling tight. Do that again, over the top, pull it through, tighten it, 
and then do that to all the rest of these cords. Pull over the top, flip through, tighten, do that twice to every one. So there's the finished look. Here's the back of it. I'm going to be working with this mustard cord to add it to the top of this hoop. Again, I'm going to measure each piece 25 inches long, folded in half, meaning 50 inches for one piece of cord. So I just added my 13 pieces of cord, and now I'm going to start tying the clove hitch knots going from the right side to the left. So here's my first knot. This cord's going over to the Thank left. Thank you. This one's going to get pulled through, tightened over the top, pulled through, and tighten it, and do that to all the rest of the cords. So I just finished the top of this one. There's the back. I'm going to be putting a loop on here to hang it with. And then since I did 13 pieces of cord on here, I'm just going to divide this middle one right here and put the cord through it. So here's the finished look. And I'm going to be trimming the bottom of these. You can trim them in whatever shape you want or you could leave them as they are. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was easy to follow along. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel.